Good afternoon everyone, today there will be a video instruction on connecting the FB Pilot V Pro, Autopilot and FlySky FSI6X equipment. The first thing to do is to put a jumper on the setup connector. The jumper is installed. Then, from the receiver, connect the iSense connector to the iSense connector on the Autopilot. Connect the iServer connector to the iServer connector on the autopilot. We connect the rudder to the first channel. Polarity is indicated. We connect a voltage regulator to the second channel. This is a motor control, channel number two. We connect the feeder number one to the fifth channel and to the sixth channel we connect the feeder number two. We connect the voltage meter connector. You can use one positive wire. We will connect it to the balance connector on the battery. That will be enough. Alternatively, this wire can be connected to the plus on the voltage regulator. To configure the autopilot, we connect the display with control buttons. That's all. The autopilot is set. Setting up the hardware. To configure the equipment, you need to reset all settings to the factory settings. Reconnect the equipment and the receiver. And perform the following settings in the setup section. To do this, turn on the power of the boat. Turn on the equipment and enter the settings mode. So in the system settings select RX setup, RX battery, select the external sensor, set the voltage value We have a 3S battery, respectively it should be 12.6 volts. Here 9.5 volts. Save. Then we go to the item Choose Sensors. The first is GPS, the second is the distance, the third is the mode. Save. Now, go to the usual settings, set reverse if needed, then we select AUX channels. The most important thing when you first connect the FSI6X hardware, at the very bottom of the system settings you must have AUX enabled. All switches SWA, SWB, SWC, SWD, VRA, VRB must be on and 10 channels must be selected. By default 6 channels are enabled and some of these switches do not work. It is important. We save. Now go to AUX channels, set SWA, feeder number 1, SWB, feeder number 2,
seventh channel SWD eighth channel VRA This is our switching to the depth gauge distance from the boat's distance. Channel 9 VRB Adjusting boat speed in autopilot mode when moving to a point and when returning to a home point. And channel 10. This is SWC, autopilot control. We save the settings. That's all. The equipment is configured. Now, after that, it is necessary to perform a calibration. Turn off the boat power. Hold down the C button. And turn on the power. Hold. That's all. We enter the calibration mode. On the equipment, set the switches SWD to position 2, SWC to position 2, VRA to the upper position, VRB to the upper position. Press the C button once. The dot lights up, release the button. Then switch SWD to position 1, SWC to position 3, VRB to lower position, VRA to lower position. Feeder number 1 is open, feeder number 2 is open. Turn the rudder to the left for about 2 divisions on this boat and turn the gas up for 3 divisions. After that, hold and press the D button. That's all. The autopilot is calibrated. We turn off the power. Now we go into the mode of setting the autopilot functions. Hold down the D button. Turn on the power. Select the smooth running distance. By default, the distance is 5 meters. Select the distance 1 meter using the C button. Confirm with the D button. Then auto return. 0 disabled, 1 enabled. Turn on auto return. When arriving at the point in 15 seconds, the boat will return back. We press the button D. We confirm. That's all. The autopilot is set up. We restart the power supply. We see satellites, we see points. Autopilot control modes, return to home mode, it will be active after the home point is recorded. This is the distance switching mode. If we connect the depth gauge now, we connect the depth gauge sensor. The light blinked, the measurements started. We see the change in distance, depending on the position of the sensor. We switch from the depth gauge to the normal distance using the VRA switch. In this mode, we see the distance from the boat to the home point 
of one meter. This switch adjusts the speed of the boat when traveling on autopilot. Thank you all for watching.